Hello and welcome to another video. This is a rational expression where the derivative of the denominator is not in the numerator and therefore u substitution will not work for us at this point. But if you can factor the denominator into simpler terms, you might go to partial fraction decomposition, right? Yes, because that would be the universal way that always works. Because if I break this down into, um, let's say, 1 over x to the fifth minus x, it's going to give you, well, this is the same thing as if we factor out the x, that's x to the fourth minus 1. And you notice that you can break this down to 1 over x times, let's see all the other factors, you're going to have x squared minus 1 x squared plus 1 because you treat this as difference of two squares and it gives you um, 1 over you get x and then this becomes x minus 1 x plus 1 and this is x squared plus 1 okay so you can have a over x plus b over x minus 1 plus c over x plus 1 plus dx plus e over x squared plus 1. And then you now have to find a, find b, find c, find d, find e, and then you integrate each of them. But there is a better way. Let me show you another way. Now you have to watch out for problems like this because you don't always have to use partial fraction decomposition, especially if it is in this form where you have a single term of x and then you have um, some power of x on the other side. Now this only works because this has a negative, okay? If it does not have a negative, you will not be able to decompose the denominator and it becomes a problem, okay? So what you want to do is consider this strategy. What if we say that... Um, this integral of 1 over x to the fifth minus x, what if we write it as the integral, instead of factoring x out here, we factor the bigger term, which is um, x to the fifth. So this is going to be 1 over x to the fifth. Now, if we factor out x to the fifth, remember that factoring means you are dividing, okay? That's the meaning of factoring. You're dividing, actually. So if you divide what's inside here by x to the fifth, you're going to get 1. If you divide x by x to the fifth, you're going to get 1 over x to the fourth. Okay? So this is what we have. Now, this expression, can you think of what you'll get when you take the derivative of this? Let's say we make this one our u. Okay, let's write it in a more differentiable differentiation friendly manner okay so let's say this is the integral of 1 over uh, you know I'm gonna write this as 1 minus x to the negative 4 and I'm gonna take this x to the fifth and put it here write it this way dx over x to the fifth this is the same thing okay I just rewrote it in a differentiation friendly manner I like that expression okay now let's make this our u you're going to see why the strategy is so clean. Now, let u be let u be equal to 1 minus x to the negative 4. So what do you think du is going to be? du will be equal to, well, if you differentiate this, it goes to 0. Negative 4 times negative 1 gives us 4. x raised to the power of negative 5 dx. Well, we can rewrite this, and um, this is going to be the same thing as... So you have du over 4 will be equal to dx over x to the fifth. You see that? So I've turned this into the rational expression, and then this is what I have. So I can go back to this expression and say whatever we have here, oh, I wish I could copy and paste this somewhere. I could have done this on the side. Okay, I'm going to move this here. Now we can go ahead and use what we have. So this integral is the same thing as the integral of 1 over u times, I'm going to replace this with 
du over 4. Do you see what we just made? And this is going to be equal to 1 fourth of the integral of 1 over u du. And what does that give me? It gives me 1 over 4 times the natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. Well, what did we say u was again? U was this guy, okay? But I don't want to write this form. I want to write this form, okay? Because it's easier to... Yeah, I think I'll take that form. Okay, I'm going to go this way because I need to simplify. And then this is going to be 1 over 4 natural log of 1 minus 1 over x to the 4th. If you leave your answer like this, this is fine. Now you can do all other algebraic simplifications to get a nicer answer. Well, if I collect the like terms and I make it into a single rational expression, this is going to be 1 over 4, the natural log of x to the 4th minus 1 over x to the 4th, okay, plus c. And I can still split this into 2 which will be the same thing as, um, let's say, it's going to be 1 over 4 natural log of x to the 4th minus 1 minus natural log of x to the 4th. Well, all of these. And if you take, if you distribute this to each of these, you can leave this as 1 over 4, but if you bring 1 over 4 here, you can move it here, it becomes the fourth root of this. So each of these lines is a correct answer. But the nicest of the answers is to simplify by applying this one-fourth as a root to each of these. So I can leave my answer as 1 over 4. Hey, where's my plus c? This plus c, plus c, plus c, plus c. Okay. Which will be the same thing as <laughs> equal to um, 1 over 4 natural log of x to the fourth minus 1. And then you have minus natural log of x, then you do plus c. Because this one-fourth, if you take the fourth root of this, it's going to be just x remaining. And that would be your answer. So whichever you want to take of these, I like this one the best. I like this too. I like this too. Uh, uh, uh. I don't like this one. See you in the next video. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.